three-point conversion, so no decision for John Fox. That's Rawls. Look at Rawls. There, they're going to struggle. And here goes Thomas Rawls, a, an undrafted rookie. And he has... Leg is fine. Please don't bring it up. <laughs> One second. Can you go get my shoes? <laughs> All right, no, no, you good, Corey. I'm already short, like. Yeah, but I know that I'm built for it, and, uh, and I'm proud to say where I'm from. I'm from Flint, Michigan, and, uh, and where you got to be tough. And, you know, there's nothing that can stop me. electric and no way that Shaq Thompson could catch him from there that's the ain't a lot you know Marshawn Marshawn Lynch looked up to him still do still communicate with him still talk to him just over time I'll just reminisce back when I was younger just watching him like man hopefully one day and that day is now so uh you know it, it's a very it, I'm kind of lost for words man I, I just I'm so grateful for the opportunity, man, just to be a part of this whole organization. I'm just a kid from Flint, man. Nothing special. I'm a kid from Flint just with a lot of heart and toughness and just want to go as far as I can. I mean, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, like I told you, I'm still a kid from Flint, Michigan. I, when I get excited, I jump around a lot, as y'all can see. And, and I try to show it. I try to express it. Do you, do you feel so like ready just from a conditioning standpoint and everything to carry the load now? Of course. Now? Yes, yes. You know, uh, I train myself uh, not like an average person. I train myself to take on these loads. Uh, for situations like this, you just never know what come, you know, the, uh, the outcome or result of a game. Uh, not just that, but, you know, for personal pride. You know, I work that hard. I, I work hard. That's all I know. That's all I know is go. Did that swing pass and running over that defender get you going on the <laughs> Well, that was an amazing play. Um, I think he thought I was going to go out of bounds, but little did he know um, – I, I'm not running out of bounds. I'm looking for, you know, contact. And uh, it was a, it was an amazing throw by Russell, you know, amazing, uh, you know, play call by the coaches and um, just executed. Overall, man, you know, I love getting this team fired up. Um, it just, it's just a natural instinct. And I think it's just energy. You know, uh, you got to play, you got to play with that, man, because you just never know. You got to be unselfish because so it, it impacts so many people. It impacts so many people. And, and they tell me that. And, and that's one of my main roles. <clears throat> Thomas, what's it taken to kind of battle through the injuries you've had this year to kind of get to this point and have a night like you had tonight? Just a, uh, a lot of mental focus, just making sure uh, I'm relaxed and, uh, and, and understanding that uh, I don't have to forcibly take a game. I can let it come to me. Uh, my, my, my body is the machine, and, and I believe God, you know, he, he, give, he give us all the tools, you know, to, to be able to go out there. You know, a lot of us are chosen for these gifts, and we just got to accept that gift. And so when I go out there uh, clear-minded, uh, focused, uh, and just having fun and being, you know, just that old kid, Thomas Ross, we can, we can, we can definitely do some amazing things. Were there some conflicted football fans in Flint this week, you think? I think so. I think so. I didn't hear about him too much, but um, I just got uh, off the phone with one of my closest friends, Elena Whidbey. Uh, he was just telling me, you know, a lot of people just blowing them up and stuff like that. But overall, there are a lot of Detroit Lions fans back there, so um, I'm not sure how they're going to take it. You know, that, that's one thing about me. I, I love I love the energy of the game. I, I love I love playing next to Russell. I love being behind those big boys. I love when the defense go out there and Mike Moe catch an interception because it, it fuels us. It fuels us. It, it make you want to do more. It make you want to fight harder for that person, the next guy. You know, just, just being so selfless, Under, uh, just understanding that this is a team sport, and, and without this team, there's no Seahawk, no energy, no nothing. So all 11 on each side of the ball, all 53. Where a lot of people uh, cut cut ties with me, cut connections uh, from me, uh, because I wasn't getting on the field as much as I was probably my first early couple uh, couple of years and things of that nature. And, um, through that, throughout that whole process, um, I remember what I did, and I cut off the TV. I put it, I took the TV out of my room. I quit playing games. I stopped communicating with a lot of people. I had to really just find myself. I was at like a dark moment in my life, and um, and, and, and at that time, I had to ask myself: Was I'm, uh, are, am I going to fold, or am I going to rise up to the occasion? Backfield number 34 had a big game last week. Takes it around the end. Takes a hard hit. And it's out of bounds. I'm from Flint, Michigan. Welcome to Flint. Flint, Flint.